I'm John McCann. And this is The Walk Off, knocking issues out the park and bringing them home. A little time has passed since the jury declared George Zimmerman not guilty of murdering 17-year-old Trayvon Martin. I mean, it's been a minute. We're more calm now in a more reflective space at the 50th anniversary of the March on Washington. So here's when we want to think about how to move forward from what happened to young Trayvon and, for that matter, relatively young Zimmerman. I mean, he's just 29. The words of Bethune-Cookman University football coach Brian Jenkins come to mind. At a summer lunch and ushering in the football season for the Mid-Eastern Athletic Conference, Jenkins brought up Florida Stand Your Ground Law. That law was at the center of all the yelling and protesting about whether Zimmerman, a man of Hispanic descent working as a neighborhood watchman in Sanford, Florida, was justified in shooting Martin, an unarmed black teenager wearing a hoodie. Jenkins said Martin was not the first black kid to lose his life like that, and he won't be the last. I mean, the coach said this stuff is so real because his own son likes to walk around the neighborhood wearing a hoodie. That's why Jenkins challenged his fellow coaches in the MEAC to get intelligently involved in this regard, talking to their players about what happened as opposed to talking about one of those guys after history repeats itself. 